did you ever play that game uh, as a kid um you, some people would call it nine nine in or what's the time mr wolf or those kind of games where somebody waits at a point and they're the counter or they're the one that calls out the saying and everyone else has got to try and, and move forward and step forward in those moments and uh you know you'd say what's the time mr wolf and they'd say a number and you'd take a few steps forward and the person would turn around and and try and catch you and it felt like uh, you didn't know what was coming but you were coming to a moment where something was about to happen I've just been reading in Isaiah 49 uh, and it says this, this says the Lord, I will soon lift up my hand to the nations. I uh, will raise my signal to the peoples and they shall bring your sons into their bosom and your daughters shall be carried on their shoulders. Kings shall be your foster fathers and their queens, your nursing mothers with the faces to the ground. They shall bow down to you and lick the dust of your feet. Very poetic language here. Uh, and then you will know that I am the Lord. Those who wait for me shall not be put to shame. And there's almost like this moment where God is the person at the point where he's the one saying, you know, uh, what's the time, Mr. Wolf, at nine o'clock and he's getting and we're moving forward and we're moving closer to what God is doing. And, uh, you know, the difference between what's the time, Mr. Wolf and God is that there's no kind of uh, scary ending. There's no ending where he's trying to catch us out, but actually he's drawing us to something significant. He's drawing us to something profound. And that is a moment when people will be brought in and be treated like the king's uh, sons and the king's daughters, the queen sons and the queen's daughters that that language there in isaiah 49 is a people being redeemed a people being saved a people being elevated to something uh, beyond what they once were and that's what happens isn't it when we meet jesus that we get elevated from being sinful people to being forgiven from going uh, almost spiritually orphaned to being now called sons and daughters of god as it says in john 1 and my encouragement to you is this would we play that role in helping people come to the presence of god would we play that role in helping people come before uh, the king of kings and the lord of lords so that they might receive that experience of becoming sons and daughters of god uh, i just encourage you would you would you let a, a sense of anticipation build in you today what god is about to do in people's lives how god is about to reach people and what role do we play in that? That's the question perhaps for you to ask in your devotions this morning. What role, Lord, would you have me play in bringing people to the throne room, in allowing people to see Jesus, in, in, in being a gateway for the kingdom so that if they meet the king, that they will become the sons of the king. They will be adopted into the family. Isaiah 49 kings shall be your foster fathers. That's the experience that awaits those that don't yet know Jesus. And that's the question today. Lord, how can we play our role in bringing people to a place where they will be fostered by the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords? Lord, would you help us? Would you give us those opportunities, that insight to take those opportunities? Maybe we speak with friends, family, neighbours, maybe if we're on the shop run. Uh, that we can have a conversation maybe in this climate of, of unrest and lack of peace we can speak peace into that and maybe an opportunity to share our faith and say do you know what i know somebody that can bring you peace i know somebody that can bring you hope he's the king of kings and the lord of lords and maybe just maybe an opportunity to see them become foster sons and daughters of the king in jesus name we pray amen may the grace of god be over you as you go about your day